So we have one's intelligent quotient or IQ varies directly as a person's mental age and inversely as a person's chronological age. So what's going to happen here is we've got one solution and we're going to use that to find our k constant and then we've got a, um, a regular person we want to find out their mental age based off of that so um, what we can do here is our general equation is going to be iq is equal to km over c so mental age over chronological age and then k's are constant so for one person We've got an IQ of 125 is equal to uh, K, which is our unknown. And then our mental age is 25 and our chronological age is 20. So if we, what we end up here is K is equal to 125 times 20 divided by 25. And that gives us a K constant of 100. So now that we have that, we've got a person who has an IQ of 80. And now that we know K, we can type in 100. And then our, our mental age, which we do not know, um, divided by uh, mental age. Oh, we want to find their chronological age. I messed up. Um, so that means they've got a mental age of 40. We want to find the chronological age. Okay, so 80C is equal to, was that 4,000? Or f yeah, 4,000. Divide through by 80. Uh, we got a person here who's got a chronological age of 50 years. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.